Well, we got ourselves in a bit of a pickle here. We're stuck on this log. We got the winch out. You hooked up? Let me get in here and run it while I go forward. Well, we got out of that mess. We're just gonna go ahead and walk the rest of the way here. No more, no more playing with the winch. Good thing we got a winch. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have a winch that bad. Real bad. Zane and I made it out here. This is a whole nother animal than it's been in years past. There is a good, probably 14 inches more water than there's ever been back here. There's a bunch of ducks and geese that were roosted right in here. We just booted out. This is the very first hunt out of the duck blind of the entire year, believe it or not. That's how you know we had some some critters to hunt down here. We hunted it last year, did we? I think maybe was that two years ago? I think last year was dry. We don't get to hunt it every year because like this year we didn't hunt it early on because I had one of our big bucks, Wells, that ended up killing was spending a lot of time in here and we had a big bear that was a bedding right off the point of the duck blind that which is the bear that I killed, so I was reluctant to hunt this because I didn't want to blow them, the bear out of here. So guess what? The bear's dead. Now we get to kill ducks. There goes hen mallard right there. I hope we kill some pretty ones. Yeah. Have it hooked around that foot, Zane. I want to make sure we put that where there isn't that duckweed and shit. On scum? Yeah, they don't like that stuff. It likes open water. <laughs> we got our wake maker there. I charged it up last night. Looks like a pretty good hole right, right here. Beaver run or something. There's another hole. Look at that, Zane. Beavers are going in and out of or something. See how she works. Oh yeah, every duck that sees that is gonna dive into the duckweed. I like it, I like it. Let's get to the blind. The beavers chewed off our doggy ramp. See that? I don't like how they're chewing on those legs over there. I know, can't taste very good. You wouldn't think it tastes very good. Heck, I forgot there was decoys hanging off the side of it. Those have been there for like a couple years. Jeez. You got a pup built there? It actually looks like there's... Is this like just a feed cache, Zane, or what is this? Look at the hole under the blind. Oh really? I wondered where our half Jeez look at what these beaver are doing. They're sabotaging us. I bet that didn't feel good when they hit their tooth on that oh, screw. Piece of tooth laying there.
Besides us. Any raccoons in there? Okay. I start screaming. <laughs> This stuff's held up pretty good. What was it, like four or five years ago we put this on? Yeah. It's a heck of a long time ago. Oh, the duck mine's held up pretty good. We got a few, looks like uh, bees nests right there. Otherwise, making her treated was a pretty good idea here. legal shooting light we have a ton of ducks in the water out here in front of us here goes one we're just waiting we kind of want to let a bunch of these leave before we shoot so we don't blow them all out of here because they're going to come back eventually but we're only allowed two ducks two mallards apiece so we're gonna be very choosy. We don't need to shoot them in the dark practically. We can wait till it gets, it gets yeah, it gets light enough so we can make sure that we're shooting drakes and not hens for our whopping two mallards. It certainly saved, you know, them taking it down to two mallards has saved an incredible amount of ducks because people just don't duck hunt like they were, you know. It's like we got dropped by like one or two geese that we <laughs> No. Well, that's like it is up north in New York. Yeah. They're only allowed two geese. I mean, think about, you know, everybody has the same idea. You know, why would I get up and go through the work to shoot two ducks or one goose when I could go sit in a tree stand, you know, and deer hunt or... Sit on my couch. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not all about shooting a lot of birds, but you hope to get enough to at least feed your family. <laughs> Two ducks isn't going to do it. Maybe an appetizer. Jeez, listen to all of them. Oh, yeah. There's a pile of them. Wasn't a very good start for me. I missed all three shots. Got my first shot. I don't know how. I did. Don't know how, but I did. Never mind. It turned. 
Zane's moving the mojo over a little bit. Oh, it's coming back around, Zane. Well, we've shot it. I got mud all over me from our little stuck escapade. But uh, we shot into one group and Zane killed one and I whiffed on all three of mine. So my first shots at a duck in over a year were... Check out this beaver hut over here. Oh crap. Yep, they're mergansers. A lot of the ducks that we're seeing, they actually want over into that brush. This is where a lot of them are trying to get into. They really don't want to suck over here to where we're at. We're going to watch a few more of them and see as the morning progresses what they're wanting to do. And we might end up just grabbing our stuff and heading over there. I can hear another duck out here somewhere. Well, we've got something to show for our hunt. What? We've got something to show for our hunt. Halfway to my limit. <laughs> just a great. Well, we should have two of them. I whiffed on mine three times somehow. Well, Zane was on his way back with his duck, and we had a big, a nice green head drop right in, and I shot it. So we we're both at one green head. <laughs> Zane was standing right there, then I just heard the wings. He came from behind us and dropped right in. When I shot, all the geese lifted and heading toward town. Zane's picking up the other green head now. Good morning, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good. Have you had a good 2022? Well, considering I got woke up already by thunder and lightning, I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. You know what was crazy about that? When I got up to go check on the dog because she's barking, it was literally midnight. Oh, Zane yeah. out front. Listen to this, babe. There's some ducks coming. <laughs> Kinda. Uh, uh, false alarm. But uh, we were wondering if you want to bring some bacon and eggs out here, we could eat some bacon and eggs. What? <laughs> I am not walking out there. You're freaking nuts. Oh, okay. Why didn't you take it with you? Well, we didn't. They're coming back at us now, Zane. Uh, yeah. Well, I was just checking. Yeah, that's a really, really good thought, but not realistic. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> nice try, though. Yep, I figured it's worth a try. 
never yeah. know how, you know, maybe I thought 2022 you'd be more... I don't, whatever you're about to say right now is probably not the best thing for you to say, so... Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's too far to walk. I'm not walking out there. Yeah, I understand, babe. Okay. Okay. You have wheels, so you can drive yourself back. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'll see you when you're done. Have yes. fun. Okay. Oh. Have a good morning. You too. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Can't say I didn't try, Zane. Thanks, off. We're going to go ahead and call our duck hunt a uh, wrap this morning. We ended up with uh, two green heads, which we're going to get on the grill and cook up. I'm hungry, and they're going to be tasty. Okay, Zane and I got our duck breasts all sliced up. We just sliced them into little chunks. We got some bacon going, and we're going to cook those right in the bacon grease and make duck taste like bacon. What do you think? If it tastes like bacon. <laughs> Can't go wrong. No. We'll put some salt and pepper in there and season it a little bit here. We just uh, season those duck chunks with some burger seasoning and we're gonna cook it right in the grease right with the uh, bacon. Let it all cook together. Those were flying around just a few hours ago. <laughs> and then they're going to fly right into our tummies. Cooked through pretty good to me. Well, this is the very last bite of our duck, and the best way to do it is to take a little piece of bacon and your duck, wrap it up, and in your mouth. 